This is Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. Hello, Let's Be Clear family. We want to thank everyone who called our Shannon Tribute hotline this past week. The overwhelming number of messages we received is a true testament to the impact she made across the globe. While we can't include all your heartfelt messages in this episode, the recordings you are about to hear have brought us tremendous comfort, and we hope they do the same for you. Thank you again for helping us keep Shannon's memory and mission alive. Hi, my name is Melissa. Um, not to confuse Shannon, who we know is listening, it's your girl, Mel. Um, Shannon impacted me in so many ways growing up um, that this badass brunette take no shit from anyone. Uh, but a brief moment, I got to impact her, and she told me so. Um, in September of last year, I started that standing ovation at 90s Con in Tampa uh, that ended up all over social media and news outlets all over the world. Um, about a month later, I saw her at Rhode Island Comic Con, and I got to tell her that. Uh, Shannon started crying and told me how much that moment meant to her. To have all the love, support, and validation from her fans was something she really needed at that time. Then she gave me the biggest hug, and we both cried together. And she, I kept telling her she has an army of fans behind her supporting her. She started crying again and told me that that's it. You're now known as the girl who makes me cry and wanted me to get a shirt with that on it. And I told her I would wear that shirt proudly to make sure that she always knows that she has all the love and support from her fans always. So, Shannon, thank you for impacting my life and letting me for a brief moment impact yours. Hi, my name is Devante. I was such a huge fan of Shannon. I would watch Charm with my grandmother, and we just shared so many memories. And when I got older, we watched 90210. There's just a huge hole in my heart knowing that she is no longer with us. Um, we love you, Shannon. She has been my voice of hope and reason when I haven't had any. Her podcasts have gotten me through everything. I was excited to go to Toronto Comic Con next month, finally see her and meet her, and to tell her that she was my childhood dreams. But then it's not going to happen, sadly. But I'll tell her this, that mahal kita, my Brenda Walsh, and my Prudence Halliwell, your magic lives on with me forever. I just wanted to send my love to Shannon and thank her for starting this podcast. I was lucky enough to meet her back in 2015 after meeting my husband. We just started dating and bonded over our love of charm. And uh, he surprised me with tickets to Comic-Con, my first Comic-Con ever, where I was able to meet Shannon and Holly. And from that moment on, they weren't celebrities to me. They were just people. They were just very kind and down to earth and Shannon was shortly after that diagnosed with cancer. And, you know, we were all there in the fight with her. And I was, again, lucky enough to meet her again this year at the Pittsburgh Comic Con. And those are memories I will cherish for the rest of my life. Hi, my name is Yami. I just wanted to express my condolences to Shannon's mom, family, and friends. I was a longtime fan of hers since 90210 for 30 years. And I've always admired her and I'm very sad that she's gone, but she was an inspiration and she'll never be forgotten. My name is Prue Sanderson. This message is for Shannon Doherty. I am so sorry, Shannon, that you passed. You have inspired me over the years, ever since I discovered you as Prue in Charm back in 2014. The strength, the bravery, the courage that you had as Prue even as Shannon, you being a misunderstood and judged individual, but very fierce woman as well in your personal life and your other endeavors. Shannon, you were a powerhouse, a force to be reckoned with, and I was in awe of you. So I hope you are resting, and I hope you're free of pain. Thank you so much, Shannon for being a role model to a little girl who was spending some summers with her grandparents that 
who had no cable um, for keeping a college student company when she was feeling lonely in her dorm room, studying, cramming for tests, trying to write the best capstone papers ever, and for being there now for my daughter who loves your character, you are also her favorite, and who is falling in love with the magic that you brought to the screen. Thank you so much. Um, and rest in power. Oh, Shannon. Um, I know this message has to be brief, so I just wanted to say meeting you was one of the best experiences I ever had. You were kind, you were warm, you were so fan friendly. Um, and aside from obviously loving your acting, I got to say uh, the awareness you brought to cancer and probably saved so many people's lives, the way you helped animals, horses, dogs, your compassion. You are just somebody that was so admired and so loved. And the world is a little sadder without you. But I know you're out there watching over everyone. My condolences to your mama, to your brother, to all your friends, your fans. We miss you and we love you. Hey, Shannon. I was bewitched by Charmed as a young adult and fascinated by 902 when I was a preteen. But I am most proud of the way that you carried yourself, not just your characters. Your strength, perseverance, and love for life will never be forgotten. We miss you. We love you. Thank you. Shannon Doherty was the epitome of class and talent overall. Her depiction of Prue in Charmed taught me how to be a better older sibling and a better family member. The death of Prue impacted me so much and helped me through a lot of my family grief throughout my years. It's insane to me to see that it came to be this way in her real life. And I just wanted to tribute her and let her know that I, Zach Tannis, will forever be grateful for her presence in our lives, and that I love you, Shannon Doherty. Hi, my name is Sean Little. My um, Instagram is at queenshawn85. Dear Shannon, I never got to meet you, but I feel like I've known you my whole life. I was an avid listener of your podcast and truly one of your biggest fans. You were an icon and one of the world's best actresses. I grew up watching you fire up the screen as Brenda Walsh. She and you left a huge imprint on me. Thank you for what you gave to the world and gave to me. I'm glad you're at peace and with Luke. I will always carry you with me as a person. Love always, one of your biggest fans and kindred sisters, Sean Little. I just wanted to say I've been a fan of Shannon since even the Little House in the Prairie days to 90210 to even Charmed. I became even a bigger fan of hers in the last few years as she showed fierce, tenacious, courage uh, and showed the world her fight and she showed the world also that people with cancer can still have value and deserve to work. My heart still aches, you know, that she's not here anymore, but I know that she has taught us all the world what it means to fight and overcome and just keep going. Hello, my name's Omar. I am a Latinx individual from La Guanajuato, Mexico. When I got the news that she got cancer, it really broke my heart. Um, I always loved the way she she saw the disease. She didn't see it as a sickness. She saw it as a challenge, like of still living and working, fighting and and working hard um, and showing others that people with cancer are strong and are capable of doing great, amazing things. And and she did. And just like Drew said in the podcast, um, she hid her disease like seeing her I for, I will forget that she was sick because she never really showed she was sick and it was still shocking for me as well knowing that she passed but I know she's in a better place now I just lost a family member yesterday from a heart attack and um this has been hard my name is Jacqueline and I'm calling from Virginia and I'm having a hard time putting all, any of this into words I always respected her so much, and I think that this podcast has been a blessing and a curse, uh, mostly a blessing because she brought us in and we got to, you know, fall in love with her all over again. We got to learn, you know, some of the behind-the-scenes stuff and, and 
you know, just see that she faced everything with such strength and dignity. Um, but then it's also a curse because we all got so much closer to her. And, you know, even though we knew she battled this for, you know, so long, it just was so shocking and unexpected. I, my heart goes out to her family. I just hope that her and Luke are together somewhere enjoying, enjoying their time. Uh, my name is Ryan McFadden and, um, I had this whole thing, uh, planned out what I was going to say when I called, um, as far as a message for Shannon goes. Um, but suddenly I am without words. Uh, I, I was such a fan of Shannon's for years, uh, and grew up watching, Beverly Hills and O2NO and, and uh, Charmed, um, as well as, you know, all the movies that she did. And I'm so glad that we have all of that documented and we can go back and revisit uh, her work anytime. And I know that I definitely will be doing that. Hello, this is Brenda from Las Vegas, Nevada. I first remember watching Shannon Doherty on Our House. And then, of course, on Beverly Hills 90210, I was about nine years old. And me being a Brenda, of course, I loved Brenda Walsh. Um, my sister was a big fan of Little House on the Prairie. And I remember her saying, like, oh, that's the same girl from Little House on the Prairie. She was Jenny. Um, I've been a fan of Shannon since. Um, and it just, it hurts. I know she was stage four, but it still hurts to not have Shannon in this world. God bless uh, Mama Rosa and all her friends and family. Shannon was a powerhouse. I loved her ever since she was on Charmed. Her character, Prue, got me through some dark and challenging times and showed me how to persevere through them. Her light and legacy will live on. She's a representation of what a true light in this world really needed. Rest easy, Shannon. Hi, my name is Chelsea Morgan, and I am a self-proclaimed lifelong Shannon Doherty stan. I remember the first time I watched 90210. I was in early elementary school, and it was a very hot August day, and she had brown hair and brown eyes and bangs just like I did, and I instantly knew she was the coolest human I'd ever seen on the TV in my entire life. And I grew up thinking that, and everything I saw her act in and was just drawn to her as a person, as a sassy, tenacious little girl. I felt like I had a connection with her. Um, as I grew older, I really started to see that as I saw what she went through in her life. And right around the time that the podcast started, my dad was diagnosed with stage two pancreatic cancer. And what I can say is Shannon, being her authentic self and sharing so much with the world at large is helping me cope with this really hard time in my life with my family. Shannon, you will be forever missed and always loved by so many. Thank you for being the tenacious fighter that you were and inspiring others to have hope in the bleakest of times. You are so loved. Dear Shannon, I just wanted to tell you how much you mean to me. How much you mean to all the fans who have supported you for so long. And we're all crying Hi, my name is Janine Noble. So while I came into Shannon's life as a fan, she always treated me like a friend. A theme I keep hearing about Shannon is that if she cared for you, she took care of you. And I am lucky in the fact that I had several memories in which Shannon took care of me. One example is when I attended a 2019 Animal Hope and Wellness event at which she was presenting. She found me in the crowd, hugged me, we took selfies, and since I was attending alone, she paired me with her mom so we could both have company while she did interviews and then ended up gifting me her seat at the main VIP table since she said she would be running around and preferred I have the seat and that I be with her mom. I would always say and will never stop saying that Shannon was nothing but the absolute best to me. I feel lucky to have known her and to have so many memories I'll keep dear. Thank you. Hey, this is Mark. I just want to say, Sharon, I love you, and I'm going to miss you forever. I'm so grateful that I had a chance to grow up with you by watching Charm. Thank you. I would like to thank Shannon for all the work she did with animals, especially with rescue animals, and being their voice. I think a lot of that has gotten lost, uh, but that was the one of the things she focused on and talked about so much and she was so loving towards animals and I that is why I appreciate her I think she's a great actress I love the shows but her humanity towards animals 
says everything about her, which is just how stupendous she is. She will always be in my heart for that. Thank you. My name is Lauren. Um, I just wanted to say that Shannon has made such a huge impact on my life all the way back to when I was a teenager um, when I started watching Charmed and then watched Beverly Hills 90210. I've pretty much seen every movie that Shannon has done. She was such a brilliant actress, funny. She seems super sweet. I wish I had the chance to meet her, um, but I never got that chance. Um, Definitely a life taken way too soon. And um, probably one of the biggest losses that I've experienced as an adult now. Um, I don't know that I'll ever get over the fact that she's not with us anymore. Thank you for everything. You're never going to be forgotten. Shannon, thank you so much for sharing your gifts with us. Especially thank you for giving us Prue Hallowell. Charmed meant a lot to me. Seeing a depiction of a family, a close loving family, at a time in my life when I needed it the most. I always appreciate that. Thank you, Shannon. Hi, my name is Annie O'Malley. Um, I'm a huge fan of Shannon's. I have been since the Little House on the Prairie days. I've watched everything she's been in and her strength and everything. She shows how strong of a woman she was. I, My last time seeing her, I got to meet her at least three times at the con, which was awesome. She just made our day when we were able to tell her how wonderful she was, how beautiful she was, and that she was such a great inspiration to all women and people fighting cancer. I just wanted to pay my respects for Shannon. Um, I used to watch the show Charmed every day before school. Um, It was comforting for me after my mother passed away from cancer. And that's all. Thank you. Hi, my name's Lauren, and I'm from Illinois. Shannon impacted me through her character crew from Charmed. To me, she felt like the older sister I never had. She taught me courage and exemplified strength. Additionally, her advocacy and love for animals has inspired me to get my next dog from a rescue center. Thank you, Shannon, for using your voice to educate, spread kindness, and most of all, be clear. Your legacy will live on. Hi, my name is Lewis, and I just want to say for Shannon and her family, my my deepest condolences. I remember watching her on Beverly Hills 90210 with my mom. I actually kind of act just like her in, in, a, in a man way because <laughs> I'm, I'm the oldest as well from like her character of pro. Just thank you for everything, Shannon. You'll be forever missed. My name is Bethann. I am a breast cancer thriver. And every Monday without fail, oh, I can't stop crying. I haven't stopped crying since since she passed, but Every Monday, it gave me such hope to hear her talk about things that I've gone through and to know that she shared that and tried to help with more information. I just I just love her, and I, I'm just gutted that we no longer have her presence here. She was loved by many of my friends. Just thank you for everything you've done for us. My name is Tammy, and... I'm from Florida, and um, I just loved Shannon. I watched her since I was a kid. Uh, Girls just want to have fun. And um, I was really excited that she had a new podcast, and I was one of those fans that was fans of hers for so long but never believed what the media said about her. And um, I just always loved her and just thought she was such a strong person and this is such a a hard loss even though I I didn't know her it just seems like I did I just really that this loss is just I don't know so hard I've just been so devastated ever since hearing the news of Shannon's passing and just wanted to say how grateful I am for her having been and being who she is As a gay kid growing up in conservative Italy, um, you know, my parents and I didn't get along very much at one point, but the one thing that my mom and I bonded 
on was Charmed, and we both loved that show. And and it was Prue. It was always Prue. And I know that wherever she is, Shannon will feel our love and the love of those who were always trained for her. God bless. Hi there. Um, I've been deeply affected by Shannon Doherty's death. I just, I feel like she's so much a part of who I am, as weird as that sounds, but... She's just an incredible person, and actually her podcast is probably one of the fav- my favorites so far, and I really was excited to listen to it every week. So this hits different. Um, I Ever since I was born, I've had an eye condition and um, slowly losing my vision, and now that I'm in my 30s, I'm almost completely blind, and... I think Shannon's fight really just gave me the strength and motivation to keep fighting myself. Um, I would often include her in my daily prayers, and I feel like those prayers would come back to me with things she would mention in her podcast. And she just helped me and so many others cope with whatever they're going through. And I just, I really... I'm grateful she's in a wonderful place and she's not suffering anymore, but man, we miss her. Hi, my name is Cadu Luongo and I'm from Brazil. I'm a huge Charmed fan and I fell in love with Shannon back in 1998 when she was playing Prue Hallowell. I would like to take a moment to make sure people know how much Shannon was loved around the world. I was only nine when the show was on and that's how I learned English because I would watch the same episodes over and over again. Now that I'm older, I can totally see myself in Shannon. We are both Aries, we are both independent and creative, but most of all, we are very dedicated and loyal. So Shannon was a lot more than a TV icon. She was a sister and an inspiration. I will miss you forever. Blessed be. Shannon, your perseverance and dignity has inspired me in my own fight. I thank you. I am eternally grateful. God bless. I actually have been feeling really emotional about this. I kind of grew up with her, you know, so when I heard about her passing, it really hit me and uh, in ways that were really unexpected. So anyways, I've been kind of like trying to celebrate her by rewatching as many things as possible that she was in, even the obscure things. Um, and it's been great. It's been great to to see her face, to hear her voice. Really freaking unbelievable that so much energy and life can be gone like that. But I know that she's not actually gone. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank you for opening this for us to say something for her. Thank you for doing this. Um, I honestly didn't think I would leave a message, but after listening to all of her co-workers and co-stars of the House of Hollywell, I couldn't not be something for her. I started listening to her podcast from the beginning after having watched her in Charmed and 90210. But it was really the podcast that truly made me feel like she was a member of my family too because she opened herself up and was so raw and so honest that it truly touched me. I hope that she knew how much she was loved by everybody who met her and by her fans. Thank you so much for everything, Shannon. You, I know you're up there with your dad and I'm sure you're getting you're being loved, and I will continue to put any, as much money as I can into all the charities that you love. Thank you again. Hey, Shannon. I just want you to know you've been a very big part of my life. I've been watching you probably since I've been like six or seven, uh, just seeing uh, how strong you've been throughout the years, or even that you just don't, you don't put up with shit. Like, you're really... You know, you're you're to the point, and 
that has just shown throughout you throughout the years and throughout your fight. I just want to wish you a great time up there and uh, thank you for everything you've done down here. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I've been a fan of Shannon since I was five years old, so I've been a fan for a long time, and I love her so much. I, I still can't believe she's not with us. I met her in Tampa, Florida for 90s Con, and I also met her at Steel City Con in Pittsburgh, and I got to talk to her, and she was just so kind, and she helped me through so much. I always love her and always remember her. Rest in peace, Shannon. I love you so much. I hope you're resting. You're not suffering anymore. I loved Shannon. I loved her on Charmed, and I was lucky enough to get to meet her twice in person. She will forever be missed. Through Hallowell will be in my heart forever. When I was a little girl, I was watching the show Father Murphy, and my siblings started pointing at the TV saying, Oh my gosh, Jane, it's you with brown hair. I've followed Shannon ever since then. I want to say that even though I'm just a regular person, I felt like we had a connection. I felt like you were my sister, and I felt like we would be friends. I one time said my bucket list would be to meet you, and I'm sorry that I won't in this lifetime. I pray for you. And I pray for your family who love you. Rest with your Savior, Shannon. My name is Amy. I live in Indiana. I watched Shannon from Little House on the Prairie all the way to Charmed. Nothing could ever beat Prue. She was an excellent actress. A love of life, a love of animals. And it affects this fan as if it affects me a lot. Um, I thought she had more time, too. She was a real strong one hell of a woman, and she will be missed. Hi, this is Charlie Goodrich. Shannon Doherty is probably one of the first celebrities I remember loving growing up. 90210 premiered when I was five, and I would watch it with my family every week. We also would often watch reruns of our house in the afternoons after school, where I was always asking to see Brenda. Apparently, I used to talk about her quite a bit because years later, my mom called me and said, into the den one day to see the TV because she was watching Little House, and my favorite actress was on the screen. When I was in high school, some friends and I rented mall rats, and I fell in love all over again. As an adult, I finally saw Heather's for the first time and was so impressed with her work. In fact, it was one of the major reasons I chose to direct my students at Heather's musical a few years back as a small way to honor the actress that had always meant so much to me and partly influenced me to go into acting myself. Thank you, Shannon, for your performances, your bravery, and always standing up for what is right and for the hope and courage you brought to so many through the beautiful honesty you conveyed to us all on your podcast. You'll always be my face. Hey, Shan. I miss you. I didn't even know you. I named my daughter after you. Thank you so much for so many memories. Little House, Our House, Heathers, 90210, Charmed, the podcast. I was so excited when the podcast came on because then I could, like, find out more about you and your journey. Thank you so much. I miss you. As night is day, so our sister has passed it to the night. Oh, blessed spirit, we bid you farewell, for you await a new journey. Rest in peace, Shannon. You will always be remembered as Prue Hollywell, and you will always be remembered and missed as a wonderful humanitarian. When I found out you passed away, it broke my heart. I was really praying for you, and I pray that you find comfort in the arms of your Father and Jesus. Amen. Hi, Shannon's strength and willingness to share her battle with breast cancer publicly and on her podcast was so inspiring to me. I'm also a breast cancer survivor. I thank her for her strength and compassion and want to send my condolences to her family and friends. She was a beautiful person inside and out and will be missed by many. Brenda Sullivan, Brantford, Connecticut. Hello, my name is Tanya Arrington. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I am a great fan of Shannon Doherty. I've been a fan of hers since 90210, Charm, and other movies she has appeared in. My prayers are definitely going out to the family and her close friends. Just lift her up, lift up the family, and just keep her memory alive and keep the things that she loves alive in you. Hi, Shannon. I just can't believe you're gone. 
Um, talk about being gone too soon. My favorite actress on the planet. And uh, I supported you basically since day one. Um, I was very sad I had tickets to meet you next month at WizardCon Chicago. And when I heard about your passing, I was just like, oh, my God. Like, I, it's, it makes me so sad, but I, I waited too long, I guess, uh, to meet you. So um, rest in peace, Shannon. We're all down here thinking about you. My name is Christy Lewis. I'm a fan of Shannon Doherty. I grew up watching her shows. I was two years old in 1982. She was 11 years old. That's when she did A Little House on the Prairie with Michael Landon. And I grew up watching The Secret of the Nymphs and a whole bunch of other shows and movies. And especially with Billy Knight. Beverly Hills 1910 and also Charmed. And I, I've been following her ever since. I wouldn't do anything to keep her name and her spirit alive. Hi, my name is Sandra Martinez. I am 45 years old, a New Yorker. I grew up watching Shannon um, since I was a little girl. And I just wanted to say she's always been one of my favorite people in the world. I'm in France right now visiting family and it has shocked people here and I could see all the love from everyone in Europe and across the world for Shannon. And I really had wished I had met her. Truly, she has left a hole in our hearts. Hi, Shannon. My name is Jay. You don't know me, but I love you so much, and, um, you know, when my mom was busy working for that one hour when she was away, I had you, my big sister, Prue, but also my mom, too, So, and you taught me how to be fierce at a young age, you know, very fierce, unapologetic, and standing on business, so I love you so much, Shannon. The world loves you. You're an icon. When I heard that Shannon passed, my heart was broken. I just want people to know that Shannon was a warrior. Shannon, you are also one of my favorite charm ones. I'll always remember you as Prue, the older sister, and the strong one. And I just, I'm very sad. I don't really know what to say, except Shannon, you will be missed. This 90s girl will always love you on charm. And I will always just remember how you fought so hard just to make each day count. Uh, I love you, Shannon, and rest in peace. Thank you, Shannon. You helped me in my 40s, helped my tween daughter a lot. You helped us bond over many episodes you taught us about, gave us opportunities for conversations. You really improved communication between me and my daughter, and for that, I will always be grateful. Hi, um, I'm Emily, and I am an oncology nurse. And for the past few years, I have watched Shannon be so brave. But um, right now, I don't really want to think about her having cancer. I want to think about how she's changed everyone's life, including mine. 
And it's not just because of charm or the fact that it bonded my stepdaughter and I in a place where there was almost no hope. Shannon had tenacity and strength and just clear fearlessness for anything she was about to step into. I'm sure there was some fear during cancer, but I don't think any of us ever saw that. All we ever saw was her educate and love people and let them have hope. But she was amazing. There's no other word for her. To Holly and her mom, please know that you guys had such a gift in your life. And she was such a gift. Hi, my name is Roseanne. I'm from New York. And I just want to say, you know, 90210 for me was therapeutic. You know, I just put it on in the background and it just eases my anxiety. And it especially comforted me when I was first became a mother because, you know, as some new parents know, it can be very isolating and stressful. And when my son would nap, um, I, I would sit down and put on 90210 and I'd always watch it in order from beginning until Shannon left. I really only watched the Shannon Brenda years. And I just wanted to send my love and thank you, Shannon. And please keep shining. Bye. Hi, this is Ty from ATL calling in. I just want to send so much love and support to Shannon, various friends, family, and other fans. I would say I'm a pretty recent fan of Shannon as I watched Charmed for the very first time about three years ago. I started a new transition in my life and the show brought me so much comfort. True definitely and still is probably one of my favorite characters of all time. Shannon was so loved and I hope that she knows that. I know the last couple of months with the podcast she's been putting to bed a lot of you know, false narratives and reclaiming her story, which is truly remarkable because I don't think a lot of people had, would have had the strength to do that. Um, I just, I love her so much and the world just lost an amazing talent. And honestly, I hope I get to meet her in the afterlife because I have so many questions and so much gratitude to give to her for honestly making me feel seen and comforted um, through her medium. And, yeah, sending love to everyone affected. Bye-bye. Hello. My name is Roger. I had the opportunity to meet Shannon uh, this past year at a convention here down in Florida. Uh, she was just want to say she was very lovely. I've always been a fan of hers. Uh, we had a nice interaction between her and Jason. Jason uh, <laughs> signed her e by 10 right through her face. I took over to Shannon, showed her, and she stormed over to Jason, slapped him right in front of his face, and demanded a new one. But that's just a, a fun little story. But uh, she will be missed. And one thing that will help is uh, knowing that she will live forever in our uh, through film, through TV. Um, you know, she's immortal, and that's awesome. My name's Kamari. I became a friend of Shannon's from an a child. My mom loved her on 90210 and me growing up I always saw her in Charmed. Me and my mom watched together. Shen always caught my eye. I loved her fierceness and I loved her as proof. She was such a badass and a fighter. Everything I wanted to be. She inspired me to start speaking up for myself and demanding what I deserve and respect in life. It's still hard to believe that she's gone but I'm forever grateful that she got a chance to share her gifts with the world. I love you, Shannon. Rest in peace. I am human and I need to be loved. Just like everybody else does. See, I've already waited too long. And all my hope is gone. We love you, Shannon. Rest in peace. Hi, this is Nika from the Philippines. Dear Shannon Doherty, as a child, I was very secretive and often seemed aloof living in my own world. Growing up, television and movies and music were important to me. I remember how excited I was every Monday morning because Charmed would air at 9 p.m. Watching it as proof brought me an unexplainable comfort as if my petty problems disappeared when I was watching you. You have had such an impact on my life and the welcome may not understand how an actress could affect someone deeply 
True fans and those whose lives you touch will understand. I love you forever, Shannon. Rest in peace, charmed one. My name is Demetra, and I lost my dad to cancer about a year ago. And my dad struggled with cancer for 10 years. My dad passed away. I lost a lot of friends during that, you know, grieving process. And I had no support. And Shannon came out with this podcast and hearing her on the daily, talking about her love for her dad, father-daughter bond was very relatable. You know, anything cancer-related, very relatable. Her struggles with just the outside world, you know, having a voice and not having anybody listen to her. I felt so relatable to her with that. She spoke to me in ways that, you know, people that I've known for years never spoke like that. She supported my grief. Like, she really was a healing treasure. And I'm so grateful for her podcast. I'm so grateful for her voice. And she was a strong, strong woman. And I am so thankful that I had her to help me heal. Thank you, Shannon. Good morning. My name is Larry Bennett. I'm calling from Tacoma, Washington. The day that I found out about Shannon's passing, I was in tears. I was literally bawling and it was like, I couldn't believe it. She was just someone I was a fan of since I was nine years old and watching her on Charmed, which was one of my favorite shows, watching her on 90210, Our House, um, Heathers, some really great shows, uh, movies, um, even now making this message, I I am coming to tears. Um, Once again, it's truly, truly a great loss, and my condolences to her family and friends. Shannon will be missed. Shannon, you are the best. You are a sister in arms, and you just led the pack, and you still do. Thank you for everything. We're carrying it on. Bye.